I did not think that I would be this into a Dunkin' Donuts onesie, but here we are. Hi, I'm Tony. Hey, I'm Maggie, and we're gonna be trying out products that Charlie D'Amelio told us to buy. I know who Charlie D'Amelio is. I'm on TikTok all the time, but not really that side of TikTok. Charlie was one of the first people to gain such a huge following so quickly on TikTok. I think that it's great that she's found so much success, especially through social media, because as somebody who's trying to do the same thing, like, that's cool to see. I respect the grind. I wouldn't say my confidence about products that she recommends is that high, but it's also not super low. Let's get started. Here with me, I have some pajamas that Charlie's recommended. I have mixed opinions on Amazon fashion. I think it's very convenient and usually very well priced, but also fast fashion in general, not a huge fan of. I've never really gone out of my way though to buy PJs off of Amazon, so this will be interesting. <laughs> Honestly, it's cute and it's very comfortable. I love the tie-dye. I also love how stretchy this material is. I would probably wear it like tucked or something. There are pockets. There are pockets. I'll definitely be keeping this one. Very movable, very breathable. I'll keep these. Welcome. It's hot and I'm sweating. They just pulled up to Dunkin Donuts to get the infamous Charlie drink. I saw all over TikTok the Charlie drink that Dunkin dropped and this is like an extension of that. I don't know if I can actually have the original Charlie cold foam though, to be honest, because I'm being so milk. I don't drink whole milk, so I'm just gonna be subbing that for a non-dairy option. Um, can I do the Charlie cold foam? Can you know? Uh, no, that's it, thank you so much. Okay, I was so scared to order that, thinking they'd be like, the what? but seems like Charlie is well known. The cold brew order was Charlie's go-to coffee order with like the three pumps of caramel and all that stuff. But there's a new and improved Charlie drink which has cold foam and cinnamon sugar on top. Oh my God, what is she? Wow, this is great. It just has so much sugar in it. I don't normally get coffee that's this sweet, which might be why I like it so much. I definitely would get this if I'm looking for like a desserty drink. A hundred percent keep. I probably wouldn't get it every single day because it is really sweet, but as a nice little treat. I would keep for special occasions. I'm going to be trying some Pura Vida bracelets. This brand was actually founded in Costa Rica and Charlie worked with them to sponsor her own bracelet pack. It looks like something I would definitely have owned in elementary school, maybe middle school if I'm pushing it. I've heard of Pura Vida bracelets before, especially like summer 2013, 2014. It was an era. It's so not my style, like sickeningly not my style. So I have the bracelets on. I love the colors. I actually think this is really cute. It's fun. The quality of these does not feel $45, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a cute. Big, big, big toss. Next is a shirt from Hollister that's a collab with Social Tourist which I just learned is a fashion brand that Charlie and her sister Dixie started. On the packaging, literally the label said social tourist talk, and this is not a social tourist talk. Something I would never pick up for myself because of my personal preference, but in terms of quality, it doesn't feel bad. It feels pretty standard. But since I already have this, I'm gonna go try it on. I don't know. This shirt is really not doing it for me. It's very stretchy, very comfortable, but I think the cut is a bit too long. It's comfy though, I'll give it that. And I feel like this is something I'd probably wear to like a funeral. I'm going to go onto the website and give it a little look-see. I think that there are some really cute pieces in here. I don't necessarily think it's my style, so I'd have to pass. It fits and all, the quality is like fine, it's just, has to be a toss for me. 
the next product is this Arosa nail polish that Charlie promoted on Instagram. The color is really cute. I like the tone of green. They also had a bunch of really, really great colors. It was really hard for me to choose this one. This is my roommate, Ellie. We're using her hands to test a nail polish because I just simply can't waste the $90 that I spent on mine. This is no thin nail polish. The color is very much so there. First coat, not bad. Painting skills, pretty bad. I love the formula. It is thick, but very workable. Okay, this last thumb is not my best work, but you know what? This color is honestly really pretty. I can feel Charlie's support from here. I only did two coats and the color is amazing. Show people. Yeah, we're kind of obsessed. The quality of this is actually really good. I definitely will be keeping this. Definitely going to be a keep. Keep. I'm actually taking it. It's mine now. Thank you, Charlie, for the recommendation. This is the clothing item that I am most excited for by far. Drum roll, please. Onesie. Charlie has been seen wearing this onesie in a few of her TikToks and it's a piece of merch in the Charlie Dunkin Donuts collab. Oh my God, it's so soft. I used to be obsessed with Dunkin Donuts. It comes with a little hood situation, which is like pretty cute. I mean, come on. This is maybe the best thing I've ever gotten for a video. It has pockets. It has pockets. Owning this, I feel like, is going to make me want Duncan more, which will sell more of their products, which means that Charlie did a really good job on this one. I'm definitely gonna have to keep this. Keep, 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 100%, keep. What better time than now to try out my Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. Uh, Morphe 2 is a sub-brand of Morphe. Both the D'Amelio sisters are brand ambassadors. I don't wear makeup, so I was excited that there was a Morphe product that I could actually try out. I have a very, very simple makeup routine. I add some mascara, I fluff up my brows, and if I'm feeling fancy, I put a little concealer under my eye. I feel like it looks Pretty good. I hope it's not too thick or like not thick enough. It said thick, so I tried. Wow, this color match, impeccable. This feels so light. I'm gonna be real with you, I'm getting kind of impatient. It's been 20 minutes and it's still very wet. This might be one of my new favorites. It's on the box, wait 10 minutes. Girl, it's been an hour. I probably applied it too thick, but also it says to apply thick, so how am I supposed to know? I love it. It's not too red, it's not too orange, but it's also not muddy, which is something that can happen when I'm looking for deeper shades of concealer. Oh my god. That part is all entirely wet. Kind of impressed by that. I am definitely going to have to keep this. I could not for the life of me get this part of it off. It is a hard, hard toss for me. Okay, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it was such a journey to getting this hummus. I swore there was like a Sabra shortage in LA. I've heard of Sabra hummus before, but I've never heard of this specific hummus, which is everything bagel seasoned hummus. I think the reason that they chose Charlie and all these other influencers to start promoting Sabra, even though it's a super well-known brand, is because they just came out with a bunch of new flavors. It smells pretty good. It does smell like everything but the bagel type seasoning. It smells very garlicky. This is not bad. Mm -hmm. And there's just, there's so many flavors happening. There's a lot of onion a lot of garlic so if that's something you're into you'll really love this specialty flavor <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't like sour hummus i was actually planning on not liking this one but this new flavor fire and is actually making me want to try the rest of their new flavors i don't know if i would repeatedly buy this for myself but i'll keep this so clearly as i can't stop eating it this is a keep for sure One thing I really like to do while I'm winding down for my day is to read a book. 
Just so happens, Charlie has one of those. This book is basically a guide to Charlie to get to know her a little bit more, and it also has stickers, which is always a good time. This one I'm having trouble with. I can't, I'm having a lot of trouble with her. It has some fill in the blank kind of thing where it like asks you a question. It says, what's a sentimental object you own and what's the story behind it? Which is cute. We love interactive. It's more of like a get to know me in short excerpts type book. If you're a huge Charlie D'Amelio fan, it could be cool. I wouldn't keep this. I do have a younger sister who might be into this. This is, Definitely a toss. I'm so sorry, Charlie. It's just not for me. Charlie has been seen using Sarah V, Sarah V, Sarah V, whatever floats your boat. But today we're gonna be using Sarah V's Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I think that this is a great brand alignment for her. So much of her fan base is like teenagers. And we all know that the teenage years are plentiful for acne. I personally love Sarah V. I use this in my everyday routine anyway. Always wash your face with clean hands. I like when that foams up, which this doesn't do. I know foam doesn't have anything to do with the effectiveness. It's just fun. I really like this cleanser. It has a jelly consistency to it. So while it's cleansing your skin, it's also hydrating it. No exfoliation aspect or anything, but my skin definitely feels clean. My skin feels so cared for. I'm gonna have to keep hard keep. My favorite product would probably have to be a tie between the Morphe 2 concealer and the CeraVe products. I feel like I've gotten to know who Charlie is as a person. A little bit, just a little bit. Some were a hit and some were a miss. And that's okay because to each their own. 